I baked the spaghetti squash and the pumpkin at the same time and now I'm going to make some spaghetti squash and later I'm going to do something with the pumpkin. So you roll out the dough for the pumpkin pie in between two sheets of parchment paper. I put the raw pumpkin pie crust inside of the glass container that is baking it and this is a vegan pumpkin pie. For the crust I used a cup of flour, a fourth of a cup of almond milk and almost a fourth of a cup of oil but I ran out of oil so I didn't have as much and yes it is a lot of oil for the crust but it's a dessert you don't eat it every day so you could look for a lower fat pumpkin pie crust I suppose but I don't have a problem with using oil. Oil crusts have been around. Actually, they were popularized during World War II due to um, shortages and different types of cooking supplies due to rationing. So that's when oil crusts became really popular with baking. Okay, so here is the vegan pumpkin pie filling. It's just a cooked pumpkin. It's like a little um, sugar pumpkin. They're the size for making a pumpkin pie and I used just a tiny maybe like a fourth cup of almond milk. I added three tablespoons of chia seeds and actually a tablespoon of arrowroot powder to thicken it up since this is a vegan pumpkin pie. Now I'm gonna bake it. Okay so here's the completed pumpkin pie and I used chia seeds so it cracked a little bit it's not quite as smooth as if maybe I'd used an egg replacer. So maybe next time I would just use the arrowroot powder. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure it'll taste good.